This is the Fender Precision Bass, which is pretty much the industry standard. It's pretty uh, stripped down to most, mostly the basics. You've got one pickup, one volume, one tone control, a bridge with adjustable saddles, and the truss rod adjustment is right up here at the end of the neck. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the neck because we can't really intonate it and do the action until we know the neck's straight. So what you want to do is you want to sight the neck from the end of the headstock looking down the edge of the fretboard. And what we're looking for is to see if the neck's straight or not, or if it has a hump in it, or if it's bowed. I'm looking at this neck right now. It looks like it is actually bowed, and that means that it's kind of got a flex uh, in it like that. So what we need to do is we need to bring that up so it's flat. What we do is we use the right size Allen wrench, which just goes right in the hole here. And once we know it's in place, we're going to give it about a quarter turn to the right, which is going to make the, the fretboard come up to a flat plane. And there's a lot of string tension on this neck, so it's going to need another quarter turn. And sometimes you might have to loosen a string to get that wrench over where it needs to be. There we go. One more quarter turn. It's starting to look nice and straight. You want to look at both sides of the neck because sometimes you'll get a little bit different reaction from one side to the other. And this is looking pretty good. Maybe just a little bit more. And then we're going to tune it back up to pitch and check the neck again. 